oh, I've just remembered. I need to do the runner beans to store over winter. I'm going to do that now. Hi. I, I Isn't this growing lark amazing? I mean, I, I was just wrapping up outside there. I suddenly, A, I decide, oh, fox. Oh, 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 she's lovely. She's just lovely. She's uh, one of the two resident foxes on the plot. Not our plot, the whole allotment site, not just our plot. Though she is under our shed, but there we are. Well, I don't know if it's that one, maybe another one. It may be the other one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, and the sun. Oh, my God. it's glorious. Can you see this? Let me just, I don't know. Can I, how do I turn this? Richard, you're not here. You're not here. I don't know how to do these things. Can you see that? That's the, maybe it's a bit too much sun. That's the, that's the shot right down to the allotment, the, that big tree at the end is our allotment. So we're actually at the top here, um, where you see that, that shed glinting in the sun. Our second plot is just before that. And then the last plot is right at the bottom. We've got about 74 plots on here, which range in different sizes. And um, Missy Fox has gone. Anyway, sorry, coming back. Um, what was he saying? What was he saying? I was saying something. Always saying something. Sometimes rubbish, I don't know. Quite often rubbish, Richard thinks. Anyway. Oh, yes, I got excited, didn't I? So I'd done the two beds. And then I thought, you know what? I should just do the, the other bean bed and get the the... the butternut squash plants out and get that ready so that took me another 20 minutes and was lovely I'm scratching my my leg with my my boot um now I can see spiders webs in the sun oh, it's just that's how they travel they they get on the end of a silken thread and the wind takes them that's incredible it's just amazing <sighs> Anyway, uh, runner beans. So then I, when I'd done that bit and I was just wrapping up and saying, you know, please do subscribe and all of that. Runner beans. I said that I was going to do the runner beans. So um, here we are with the runner beans. If you have seen other videos, you'll note that I've spoken about overwintering the roots of runner beans. Because I've read that runner beans in some countries like Mexico, which okay, maybe an awful lot hotter than here, are actually treated like a perennial and are, the roots are taken up, the plant is taken up and stored like a dahlia tuber over the winter months and then replanted in the spring. So, you know, it's worth having, giving it a go, isn't it? So what it says is you need to lever as much of the root up as possible Take all the soil off. Or as much of the soil off as possible. But the best way to do is to bang it because you don't want to apparently put your fingers in there and tear these things apart. But just a gentle dusting. Now, yeah, I think we can see that some of those look a bit like tubers. Maybe that one has broken off. Look. So we'll have that one. Actually, we're not going to have this one because I don't think that one's quite as strong. This one looks... I took these up earlier. Maybe then. That one, maybe look at that. That seems to have. I say it seems to have. I mean, you know, I don't really know because I've never done this before. We'll keep those two. Let's dig these two up. I also, when I plant, you may have seen earlier, I plant two per pot. This one actually wants to come up over there. Wow. So you just want to tease the soil out, apparently.
Okay, well that one, that one, that one, that one, I'm not sure if I've cut that too small or short, I think I have, that one, let's keep those three and then I'll go over there. Doesn't seem to be much on that one. Let's do these final two. Very dry. I mean, I must admit, I don't think I've watered these for a while. I'm not going to do more than four. What do you think, that one or that one? So I've got these three. I think that one. I'll get rid of that one. Oh, got a wasp in my hair. A few months ago, I've been worried about that. There we are, there's four. So what we're going to do is cut these back up here. This will dry back, but we're trying to keep that going, if you see what I mean. So where are my secateurs? Of course, I've left them over the other side. Just checking that you can see there. So what I'm going to do is on this one, I'm going to cut back there. I'm going to cut that out there. That's dead. Now I'm going to cut that one there. Again, let's get that away. So I can't. And cut that back there and cut that. And I'm going to cut that back because you should only leave two apparently. I'm going to cut that there. I'm not making a very good job of this, am I? I need to weed. Okay, again, two. Or well, maybe not on this one, but I'm going to cut it there, there. I'm going to cut there. Final one. Cut that out. That's dead. I'm going to cut that there. Cut that there. Cut that one right back. And I'm going to cut. Which one do you think? I'm going to cut that one. I'm going to do that. Okay, now I know, have no idea if this is going to work or not. Let's just get rid of that bit as well. We'll know come the spring. So I've got four wanna bean roots that I'm going to overwinter. This could be an absolute waste of video. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap them in brown paper. If you get deliveries from Amazon. It's very often in brown paper. I'm going to wrap these individually in brown paper and then I'm going to wrap them in some fleece and I'm going to keep them in the shed over winter. All of this green will obviously die back. Well, I assume it's going to die back, but I'm expecting it to die back. All of that will die back and um, in the spring, once apparently you can put them in the ground two weeks before your last frost, and because they've already or would have an established root system, they should get going a bit sooner. So we'll see what happens 
next year. So next step, brown paper, then wrapped up in a bit of fleece. Okay, so these are the runner beans that we're going to try and save like um, dahlias and see if we can keep them going. Um, there's four. This one seems to be quite a prime example of having a root. But the idea, well, I've gone over the idea, haven't I? So we're just going to wrap them up now. So wrapping them up in the paper, um, good old Amazon, who, who, everyone goes on about Amazon. Amazon pays its fair, not fair share. Amazon pays the taxes that it's allowed to pay by the government. The government need to sort itself out so that Amazon pays the amount of taxes that we all think it should pay. Anyway, there we are, bit political statement. So we're wrapping these. Actually, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to, that one's wrapped that way. I'm going to wrap that one that way. I'm going to put that a bit further. I'm going to wrap that one that way. How do I wrap that one? That way. So I'm going to wrap that one that way. I'm going to wrap this one that way. Tear that. This is obviously paper that would normally go in the compost bin. Okay, and now I'm going to bend that one over like that. Bend that one over like that. I'm going to tuck that over there. I'm going to tuck that over there. I'm going to do that. And then, courtesy of our milkman, Milk and More, I've got a nice paper bag. You can hear it's paper because it's rustling, obviously. And what I'm going to do is just fold that up. I'm hoping I've got a rubber band or something around here. Maybe not. I've got a piece of string. I'm going to tie that loosely like that. It's like Christmas, isn't it? I'll tell you what, if these do come back, it will be like Christmas because it's absolutely something for nothing. I'm going to tie that one. Like that. Some of you will be adept at wrapping parcels. As you can see, I'm not. And um, what do you do? Do you, you do something like that, don't you? You do something like that. And then you do something like that. And then we're going to tie these two like that and then we're going to do that over there wrap that around there like that right there we are that's our runner beans trying to overwinter them to see what happens and whether we can get them growing again in the spring like dahlias so uh there we are. Okay, so that is it now. I'm going to go home and see what Richard's up to. Uh, I feel as I've done a really good afternoon's work here. And as I say, maybe another two afternoons and we'll be ready. It's going to be uh, ready for, for, for autumn, that is. It looks like it's going to rain on Saturday. Our sheds, which are pretty dilapidated, will need to have some tarpaulin on really before then. Um, uh, another day another day there's always another day okay thanks for watching and please do subscribe and um yeah i look forward to being back with you soon okay bye